Hi guys, it's Alston. In this video, I just wanted to share the keyword research template which I've created in Excel with you guys. The reason is I have started teaching keyword research process. I will be showing the process with different keyword research tool and everything. I thought why not create a template or Excel spreadsheet in case if anyone who watching this courses want to follow it through. So I created a very simple keyword research tracking spreadsheet. You don't need to use this. You can use any of your methods, notes, text pads to your own spreadsheet or own database. But in case if you are looking for a one, I will leave the link for this in the description. Basically, it's very simple. You can see and I have given the URL of all the resources which I have created relating to keyword research will be there from all the theoretical educations all the keyword research methods how to do keyword research using variety of different techniques softwares all the resources you need for keyword research will be there so in case if you want to go back and find any resources you can find everything here the sheet is itself divided into four different columns one is the market research component where i have already explained in a separate lesson on why market research is important why you should understand your customers before doing keyword research so once you know that uh, I've watched that video you know the importance of market research and I have created this particular sections to help you to record some of the most important pain points or just understanding your customer much better so this spreadsheet uh, goal is to give you an overview of your customers understand their pain point and also to help you to remember what this keyword research is about for example if you are doing keyword research for multiple clients or multiple project i have created the overview sections to help you to understand okay these are my important points in this particular industry so you can get a better idea on when you are coming back to the spreadsheet the second tab is called find seed keywords where basically I have created a section where you can enter all the seed keywords you find. I have also created a separate lesson which shows how you can go about finding all the seed keywords, why the seed keywords are important, what are the sources you can use for seed keywords. I have created a whole session on that and based on that I have created this section. The idea behind it I have mentioned 14 different sources. For every keyword you find on a particular uh, source, you just list it out in column wise vertically so you can get an idea on okay this is from this particular uh, source and I also created check mark box here so you can check it or uncheck it anytime this state will be saved so you know okay these are the sources I have already used and I have also added a couple of extra column also if you want to add more data source or just you can create more depending on that. The expand keyword is where you start going and collecting keyword ideas from keyword research tools after the seed keyword. Whatever the keywords you selected, whatever the keywords you are going after, this will, you can keep on adding all the different keywords here. Uh, instead of keyword one, you can replace that with your, whatever the keyword you are going to type, you can add uh, volume inside it and also you can do keyword type also whether it's a long tail keyword regular keyword short term keyword you can create your own analogy and you can filter that by that particular keyword itself so that is what here does and it will auto calculate the total search volume also so depending on the use case you can use this one also finally keyword clustering this is just an idea i gave you i don't want to create a fully forced uh, template for the cluster or grouping part I've just shown you how you should can go about creating a cluster example or group examples with this where you can have different color coding to show the priority of the keyword and have the main cluster topic heading inside here and give all the related or semantic or all the related keywords inside that and color code within that group. This way, as soon as I co come into this, because I don't care about the search volume when I'm looking into a cluster of keyword, because the only reason the keyword has made to the cluster is I know that it has always already passed all the SEO validation factors and everything. So I don't care about search volume or anything like that. I just want to look into the 
prioritization of which are the keywords should I go first and also the main topic as well as the cluster uh, keywords which I need to include. So that is basically it. I just wanted to create a basic is excel template in case if you are looking for a way to record it or you want to follow along when i do keyword research process using different tools and i'm using this template to record all those data so i hope this video was useful and this template is useful once again thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you have a great day cheers